Jesus uses two familiar images in the gospel today to describe what his disciples are called to do as people of faith, as true believers. We hear this in different ways from the lips of Jesus, but always the same message. Faith must be more than a profession on our lips. It must be a way of life. Faith calls us to give witness to all that we have come to believe is true, to witness to that truth with the gift of our very lives. We know salt, it seasons things so often if there isn't salt, things can be rather tasteless. But you know, one of the great gifts of salt is the ability salt has to preserve things. It's the way so many of the people who went before us were able to preserve food for long periods of time because of salt. It was able to give life for many, many times after what would normally be expected. And the salt that Jesus talks about is the call for each of us as true believers by the witness of our lives, by the commitment to Jesus Christ and the truth of the gospel to preserve that faith that has come to us through others that we might preserve it for future generations, hand it on to our children. It's one of the responsibilities of a Christian. We come to know the faith so that we can share it with others. Preserve it in every generation. God depends on us, each of us, who are baptized members of the church, to be sure that the truth of the faith is kept alive in every age. And you know, we light a, a lamp, Jesus says, not to put it in a closet or under a bushel basket, but to let it be seen. We are enlightened by the gift of the Holy Spirit, set afire, St. Paul says, with all that we believe. And we're called to let that light shine brightly. Your light must shine before others. Jesus says that they might see what you believe, they might see your good deeds and come to glorify our Heavenly Father. St. Paul is writing to the Corinthians, we know, you know, one of the blessings of not having perfect Christians is that we have all of these letters from St. Paul, almost from the beginning. Christians failed, as we so often do today, to live up to the ideals that Jesus gave to them. And St. Paul is writing to the Corinthians, a community of people that he loves dearly. Yesterday we heard at the beginning of the second letter to the Corinthians how St. Paul encouraged them, encouraged them to be faithful in spite of their trials and their sins and their doubts. And today he reminds them of the call to faith, faith in Jesus Christ, that each of us must say yes to that call of God every day to believe that he is who he says he is, that Jesus is truly the one sent to save us from our sins and to lead us to eternal life. Our ascent of faith can't be half-hearted. We can't be half in and half out. St. Paul says we can't be lukewarm. We've got to be either hot or cold. We either believe in Jesus or we really don't. And our faith must be evidence. That's the call we hear today. The faith that is lived and expressed by our goodness those are the fruits of faith, the fruits of the Holy Spirit that we have been taught. That's how we can be known 
to be followers of Jesus, not by what we say, but the evidence of our lives. And we know those fruits, kindness, generosity, patience, forgiveness, compassion, love above all. Today we celebrate St. Anthony of Padua. You know, we, we know him mostly as the patron saint of lost things. He has that uh, certain gift. So many people pray to St. Anthony when they lose something. And we believe that through his intercession, we, we will be able to recover those things that are important to us. But he got that name because he spent his life recovering lost souls. He went out to preach to people who had abandoned their faith, left the church, who doubted the truth of the gospel, who questioned. And he went out to try to convince them with his words, but St. Anthony was known for his kindness, his love, his patience. Every single person he encountered, no matter how great a sinner, no matter how far he had wandered away from Jesus Christ, no matter how angry or difficult that person might be, St. Anthony was known to embrace them with great love. He wanted to share with them from his loving heart the love of God, and he recovered many, many lost souls, not through his arguments, but by the manner of his kind and gentle life. And so we remember him today, the call that God gives to each of us to live our faith well, to bring Jesus into the lives of everyone we meet every day, regardless of their response. We know that through God's grace and our good efforts, many, many souls can be won over for Jesus Christ and saved. The gift of salvation awaits all who put their trust and faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you.